Oh yes, we have made it to Friday. It is the end of the week and you know what that means. It is the Com C Hot Sellers from last week. We're going to go through basketball, football, baseball, hockey, and Marvel cards this week. Going through all the top selling athletes and Marvel characters. You don't want to miss it. Stick around. to all my sports card collectors, investors, all of my collectibles friends. How we doing? It is another day. It is another card video. How has your week been? I feel pretty good too. <laughs> I think I finally got some sleep. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I just, um, I don't know why. I just feel pretty good. Yeah. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. If you're new here, hit the big red button down below the subscribe button. We're coming out with just about daily content. It's a good time. All the sports cards, non-sports cards, collectibles type stuff that you can want. We are here for it. Also connect with me on IG at Sports Card Dad. It's where I show a lot of my pickups and fire up some reels to try to impress my kids, which is uh, usually a losing effort, but that's besides the point. I'm also on Twitter as well. If you're on the Twitter machine, the Sports Card Dad. All right, guys, it's our weekly show. We are looking at ComC data from last week, sales data that takes into account all the sales off the website, direct off the website, also the eBay stuff that's ComC related, as well as the port sales. And it just kind of puts all this thing in, the, in a big bucket, spin it around, and out comes this data. They share it with me. And so this is from last week. We are going to start with basketball. Now, of course, with basketball, as we always say, Michael Jordan is always the number one seller on the site but he's not active. So number one is LeBron James. No surprise there. It usually is LeBron, frankly. Number two, Jalen Green. A little prospecting going on. Everybody getting excited about Jalen Green? Is he going to do some stuff? Uh, last week, now this is last week, number three, Zion. I don't know if next week is going to show the same sort of transactions on Zion. He did turn his ankle or he hurt his ankle or something. And people, it's just like a sigh at this point. It's just like, can this guy play a full season? The answer so far has been no. Can this guy pull it together and just put together 50, 60, 70 games? We're not asking for 82. This guy's on a pitch count pretty much for the rest of his career. But Zion, can you just put together half a season, three quarters of a season, and show us what you got? We know you got the talent it's just being available. That's really what it boils down to. Steph Curry at number four, no shock really there. Everybody's pretty much looking at the Warriors. I don't know about you all, but you look at the Warriors and you're kind of like, I mean, outside of like the Draymond, on green kind of spectacle type stuff. You know, I, that team is absolutely loaded. I would think that they are probably the favorites to repeat. I know it's very difficult to do in the NBA, but they are rock solid, those Warriors. They didn't really lose anybody, uh, so we'll see. But Tyrese Maxey, another guy that kind of came on last year. There's a lot of excitement around him, it looks like, leading up to this NBA season. Let's go to football. Number one, Tom Brady selling through his divorce, man. Nothing slows this guy down. Giselle is just coming at him with all sorts of left-right hooks. Doesn't matter. Cards are selling. Jerseys are selling. He's selling pants or whatever on Instagram. The guy's everywhere doing his thing. Tom Brady is number one. Justin Jefferson, number two. That's a little bit of a surprise. Obviously, great receiver for the Vikings, playing very well. But to see him at number two, it's interesting. Jalen Hurts at number three. The Eagles are 5-0. and oh. I know Eagles fans are very, very obnoxious. I've been in their stadium. No offense, Andy, sports card investigator. If you do watch this, I know he's an Eagles fan. I don't necessarily think that you are obnoxious, but Eagles fans in general, I, I don't want to see them happy like this. You know, they need to be suffering a little bit. So number three is Jalen Hurts are sitting at 5-0 and and looking pretty good as the season has started. Lamar Jackson sits at number four, and he has started out good too. I mean, he's one of those guys. He's got an MVP. He's got a playoff win. He's just got to get over the hump. He plays on a good Ravens team. So we will see. There's been so much talk about the Justin Herberts and the T-Laws of the world, you know, and Lamar Jackson is a guy that I think just because he's a running quarterback, people are just a little bit nervous about him. And he's not as big as like a Josh Allen. Josh Allen's also a running quarterback, but he can just run you over. Although I do think Josh Allen needs, needs to kind of taper that back a little bit. He's a, he's, a, he's a little too aggressive, I think. But Lamar Jackson, very fast, just extremely quick, shifty. But I think people maybe just worry a little bit about the, the possibility for injury. And so maybe, maybe, Maybe that's why, you know, he's, his prices are a little bit lower than some of the other guys, but his stuff is moving as of last week on Comp C. And the number five, Patrick Mahomes, the second. Some people will say they kind of got bailed out against the Raiders, but 
That's up for interpretation. I know the Mahomes people are going to come at me all over me. Mahomes, obviously, one of, if not the best QB in the whole NFL. So he rounds out number five. We move to hockey. Actually, kind of a big shocker on the hockey list this week. I don't see Wayne Gretzky on this list. Number one is Connor McDavid. Number two is Alex Ovechkin. Number three is Cole Cough Caulfield. Hockey fans, who the hell is that? Who is Cole Caulfield? Actually, I see the picture there. It's a rookie. So I'm assuming this is an exciting new rookie that's coming up. Let me know in the comments. The hockey fans, who is Cole? I have no idea. Number four, Kale McCarr. Probably saying that name wrong, but I haven't seen him on the list. Number five, Alexi Lafreniere. My French is terrible, as you can see. So hockey with no Wayne Gretzky. What sort of world are we living in when Wayne Gretzky is not even in the top five? Something's going on. Baseball, a lot of the usual suspects. You got baseball playoffs going on. There's a lot of emotion with baseball fans right now. This is kind of the time when you really see kind of the fire come out of baseball fans. Number one, Aaron Judge, obviously. All the excitement around the home runs and this and that. Aaron Judge sits at number one still. Shohei Otani. These are guys, what, these guys are one, two in the MVP race as far as baseball is concerned. Number three, Mike Trout. Mike Trout and number four, Albert Pujols, another guy that just hits the ball no matter what. This guy will be 65 and still crushing the ball. He'll probably be still hitting like 308 when he's like 67. Jordan Alvarez at number five rounds out baseball. Let's go to Marvel, shall we? Number one, Spider-Man, the usual suspects. Number one, uh, number two is Wolverine. Captain America was actually number two last week. Bump Wolverine out. Now Wolverine is back to two. What did I see? Some sort of like Deadpool movie where Hugh Jackman is coming in for, he's going to be Wolverine in this in the next Deadpool movie. So maybe there's some excitement around that. It's just amazing to me. Spider-Man and Wolverine are just kind of those characters that are just forever. I mean, they are so popular always. Spider-Man and Wolverine will probably always be. I don't know. I just can't imagine anybody really overtaking those two. Number three is Captain America. Number four, Venom. It's kind of interesting too, because that's obviously Spider-Man's main nemesis, but kind of a, a hero villain type thing in the movies. So interesting. I, to be honest with you, I haven't been crazy about the, the, the Venom movies. I like Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy's awesome. I can't get past the whole like the the like the symbiote talking with Tom Hardy. I just don't think it's that funny when they try to be. I don't know. I, it's, I'm just not really getting all on board with it. Um, not to say that, you know, like Carnage is bad or any of that stuff, but I don't know. There's just something about those movies just kind of like, bah, whatever. And then five, Iron Man rounds it out. Robert Downey, Robert, blah, 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 blah. Robert Downey Jr., is he going to ever come back as Iron Man? Really? He's the one that started the whole Marvel, the MCU universe. He's kind of the big actor that got this whole thing going in the first place. So in my opinion, I think a lot of the Marvel movies are starting to get a little bit I don't know. It's not that they're bad movies. It's just there's a little bit of an oversaturation. I don't know if they're running out of storylines or what. It's the same with the shows, too. I've, the She-Hulk show, although, you know, getting good ratings, I've just seen a lot of uh, bad reviews on it. But anyway, that doesn't matter. Here we are now. So Spider-Man 1, Wolverine 2, Captain America 3, 4, Venom 5, Iron Man. That's what we've got for Com C from last week. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Are you on Com C? You got to get on Com C. Check it out. Some really nice arbitrage on Com C. And it is the OG vault of the sports card hobby. It's one of those longtime companies that is awesome. So definitely check them out, Com C. All right, guys, stay healthy, stay awesome, and I will talk to you again later.